All right, we're back and as we do things here, our feature game is just that it stands alone and then we take things from the top. Class 5A Division 1, our largest district in our area. Port Arthur Memorial headed to the playoffs as the fourth seed out of that district. Westbrook taking the fourth seed and earning a playoff berth with a win at Barbers Hill. That would move Memorial up to third. And well, we'll get to their results in just a bit. But first, one nine five a Division One team would get its first district win of the year as Beaumont United played host to Baytown Sterling tonight. Neither team did well in their first possession, but the T-Wolves on their second offensive drive. Raphael Desatel putting one in the air on the money dash to Henry. Henry turns that into a 60-yard touchdown strike. That's the good news. The bad news is Henry's little dance here afterwards called for unsportsmanlike 15 yards added to the kickoff. Coach Colbert not mad, but also not happy. Still, BU would take a 7-0 lead, and you have to like that. Now, Sterling would get a field goal to make it 7-3. Here's what the Sterling QB Jackson Favors had to deal with. United's D would be tough as Colin Woolridge pops, gives a pops, fav, pop, pops favor right there, and number 12 just flops right down. That didn't look like a rough hit to me, but hey, I'm not the one out there. Favors, I think, shed a tear or two. Sterling would send in their backup quarterback, Mouthpiece and all hanging out from the face mask there. Oops, okay. By show of hands, who really is surprised by that? He's the backup quarterback. Sterling actually led 9-7 at the half, but as we go to the big board in this one, United with the big second half. As we go to the scoreboard, the T-Wolves end the regular season with a victory. 21-9 is the final in favor of United. BU finishing the year 3-7 overall. They're 1-5 in district play.